Well, as it stands, we've hired helpers, and we've acquired the Everlasting Incense. The completion of our preparations is not far off. Ooh, finally! Well, Traveler, have you gained anything from our adventure so far? Odd. <laughs> Which is it, I wonder? The questions that such travels raise are ever so complicated. Well, I'll leave you to ruminate over it yourself. As to remuneration for your help, I've decided... to treat you to a meal. Oh, ah, uh, yes, don't worry. I will remember to bring the Mora this time. Tonight, I shall take you both to an old hole in the wall, praised throughout Lyra. Hole in the wall? As in a cool restaurant? <laughs> Indeed. Let us meet near the harbor, at third round knockout. Ah, you're here. There's no need to order. I've already done so. Third round knockout is not for lightweights, like those taverns in Mondstadt. Here, the owner does not take such unorthodox orders as fruit juice. I ordered some wine-fermented sweet rice balls for you, if that counts. If it is to your liking, dear customers, I shall continue the tale of Lady Ningguan's Jade Chamber. Besides fine wine, the excellent ambiance is the reason why this place is so well loved. But when I say ambiance, I refer to a different sort from the one the Tevat Travel Guide uses to judge other establishments. As you all know, high above the land of Liyue lies a pavilion in the clouds, a palace in the mist. What does it mean to have all-seeing eyes? This, my friends, Lady Ningguan's masterwork that bridges earth and sky. Imagine, the weather is clear, and you gaze down from the deck on the world below. Behold, the glorious sights of Liyue Harbor, stretching out far and wide. They say that when Lady Ningguan ponders important affairs, she retreats to her jade chamber with none but her three closest confidants in tow. Why brings she these trusted three to sift through sources, dig through documents, 
looking for information. Piece by piece, facts and figures paint a picture on the walls of the chamber. But well before the wall is filled, Lady Ningguang's mind is made up. Having made her call, she has every last document shredded, and whoosh, she scatters the shavings out her window. Ah, oh, look at them, how they billow in the wind like a sudden swirling blizzard. As the fragments fall, traces of text flicker before the eyes of the merchants of Liyue, like ink stains in white snow. The saying goes, the rarest treasures in the land are the words brought by the paper snow. For the words of the Tianquan have the power to move mountains, and all throughout the land know it. These are but scraps of paper, and yet they guide Lady Ningguang's hand. Such is their value. Merely grasping one or two of them will surely gift you a fragment of her wisdom. Enough to stay a step or two ahead of your peers. Tiantuan Ningguang. Feels like we're hearing this name a lot. Liyue locals talk about her. The Fatui hate her. She's most likely the one who hid the Exuvia. And we saw her at the Rite of Dissension. Huh. Paimon wonders what sort of person she is. At last I have found you. You who returned from Juayun Karst. Who's there? Wait, I am not with the Millilith, nor am I here to claim your bounty. However, I am an emissary of the Liyue Achising. My name is Ganyu, secretary at the Yuahai Pavilion, and I have come specifically to meet you. Well, in concrete terms, I am the corporate secretary for the Chising. At the moment, I am serving as Lady Ningguang's special emissary. Ningguang sent you? We were literally just talking about her. My apologies, you who have returned from Jiayun Karst. I am duty-bound and cannot extend my courtesy to you in full. But I have with me a letter from Lady Ningguang. She extends a formal invitation to you in her capacity as Tianquan. She invites you to her palace in the sky. An official invitation? Lady Ningguang said this. Invite her to come here. I wish to meet her. At the Jade Chamber, together we shall snip every one of these entwining dark threads. And with that, the emissary who called herself Ganyu just disappeared. But we've received an invitation from the Liyue at Qixing. Paimon still can't believe it! We'll be meeting people that have way more money than Paimon could ever count! We should be on our best manners! <laughs> An invitation to visit the Jade Chamber is a rare honor indeed. You'd best be on your way now. But don't forget about the rite of parting. Once you've finished at the Jade Chamber, meet me at Dihua Marsh. Don't worry, we won't forget! Dihua Marsh, we'll see you there! Listen, let me tell you how it is.
since we want to go to the Jade Chamber, heading to its location on the map is the sensible thing to do. Let's look around. There has to be a way up there nearby. That's right! 
Now that you mention it, we could use the Guizhong Ballista to see if there's another way up nearby. trespasses on these hallowed grounds. Exactly. What are you talking about? We're invited guests. What makes you think you can treat us like this? No. Wait. Maybe this was Ning Wan's plan all along. She pretended to invite us to the Jade Chamber, but set up a megalith ambush here to arrest us. Uh, now Paimon's mad! You! Over there! This is a trick, isn't it? How shameless! What? We're just on guard duty. What do you mean, shameless? What nonsense! Seize these suspicious intruders at once! Well, here they come! Light- <laughs> Oh, 
free. Who goes there? Ha! Attack! Ha! Ha! Who goes there? By royal decree. <laughs> 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 Who goes there? Attack! Odd reveal! Target alive! Take this! Midnight Phantasmagoria! Attack! What's all this about? Lady Kutching, these two strange people suddenly appeared. They seem to have designs on the Guizhong Ballista. Who are you calling strange? Hmm? You want to go to the Jade Chamber? Who are you? We're invited guests here to look for the Liyue Qixing. Who are you? Well, as it happens, I am one of the Liyue Qixing. Oh! I'm Kuching, the Yuhung of the Qixing. I know of you, Traveler. You're Ningguang's guests, yes? Didn't expect to meet you here in the mountains. Wow. Paimon didn't think we'd meet some super rich big shot out here in the middle of nowhere either. The Guizhong Ballista in Tianhong Pass has long been in disrepair. And yet, it was fixed in a single night. I came here to investigate that occurrence. These Millilith are just here to guard the scene, not to arrest anyone. So, this was all a misunderstanding? Vaimon never would have thought. Anyway, for a mortal to be able to repair an Adepti mechanism is quite the mystery, even to the Chising. Just call me Kuching. I'd say that Ningguang's purpose is to request that the savior of Mondstadt take a more neutral stance. 
Or at least, to not wholly side with the Adepti. We're not taking sides. We spoke with the Adepti. They want to protect Liyue as well. When you say protect, you're referring to their sanctimonious arrogance, aren't you? Huh? You are mortals and thus under their protection. There was no way they would have regarded you as someone with the ability to assassinate a god. Naturally, they would also regard Ningguang's locking down the area, questioning the citizenry, and pursuit of the assassin to be pointless work. Perhaps they even wonder if there might be a cover-up. I'll say it like it is. They're underestimating us. Well, you've got a point there. Still, this is the first time Paimon's seen a person from Liyue who doesn't respect the gods or the Adepti. <laughs> Should I respect the shallow sense of time and condescension to mortals that has caused them to delay in moving against us, Chising? Forget it. I shouldn't speak of them this way. This skepticism is mine alone, and Ningguang does not share it. Either way, I will admit that the actions of the Adepti this time were quite restrained. Rex Lapis's death is indeed an extraordinary circumstance. But to think that they would call for a council of Adepti rather than come down here directly... How surprisingly civilized of them. Well, for Ningguang, she would talk anything and everything out if she could. But I doubt we can do that here. The time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liyue Qixing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyue? <sighs> Another super bold statement! <sighs> I'll stop here. Honestly, I hadn't intended to say so much. But you're a good listener, Traveler. You should both be off to the Jade Chamber. Don't be late now. Ningguang's schedule is packed to the gills all the way till next year. The cream of Li Yue's mercantile crop all see ascending to the Jade Chamber as the greatest honor. Each brings rich gifts as they visit, all to curry a little favor with Ningguang. Favor? But... but... wait! That's right! Greeting gifts are a staple of Li Yue's culture! We need to get one. Not to curry favor or anything, just to respect Liu's culture. All right, all right. You can decide on your greeting gift yourselves. Let me tell you how to get to the Jade Chamber first. You didn't actually have to come to Mount Tianhong. Go back to Liyue Harbor. Find a guide at the Yuehai Pavilion, and... Well then, may we meet again, Traveler? Well, that Yuhung may not respect the gods, but Paimon thinks she's a pretty cool person. So, what should we give to Ningguang when we see her? Oh, right! Paimon dreamed of an amazing snack last night! Sugar frosted slime! Paimon has a feeling that it would be perfect for a super rich person like Ningguang. Why don't we go with that for a gift? Nope! But Paimon's sure that we just need to make it with some boom shakalaka! Let's go gather ingredients! Time waits for no one, and neither will our riches. Yeah.